Hi there, welcome back to the Group Explorer. Hope everyone's keeping well. Today it's quiz time and I thought it was high time we did another quiz all about French wines. So many questions that can be asked, it's a popular topic for sure. If you're new to this channel, welcome, I'm the Grape Explorer. On this channel you'll find wine education along with product reviews and lots of wine tasting and a good dose of wine quizzes as well. So if you're interested in all things wine, consider subscribing. That's it, 10 questions all about French wine to test your knowledge. And of course, with this being a quiz, stick around to the end to find out how you can win a copy of the Big Wine Quiz Book, 1,000 questions to test your knowledge. If you're interested in learning more about that, the link is in the description below. But for now, let's jump straight into question number one and test your knowledge about labelling. If the label on a wine bottle states Chinon AOC, which region has that wine come from? Is it A, Burgundy? Is it B, Le Loire Valley? Is it C, the Northern Rhone? Or is it D, the Southern Rhone? Potentially a tricky one to get you started. Uh, whenever I see Chinon on a label, I I'm usually assuming there's Cabernet Franc in there, particularly when it's a red wine. Cabernet Franc's very popular. Uh, in Chinon, of course, and from this particular area. Chinon itself can be found in the sub-region of Touraine, which is in the Loire Valley. So the correct answer here is answer B, Loire Valley. Let's hope you all got off to a good start. Now let's move on to question two and pairing a certain region with a particular grape. Which variety would you find predominantly used in the wines of Madeiran? Is it A, Malbec? Is it B, Gamay? Is it C, Tanat, or is it D, Pinot Noir? Uh, Madiran, for those who don't know, can be found in the southwest of France, uh, further south than Bordeaux. They make some wonderful wines from the very deeply coloured and highly tannic grape that is Tanat. So those of you who've gone for answer C have got that one right. Now moving on to question three, you know I like to throw in geography questions for all you geography buffs out there. Let's see how you get on with this one. Which of the following lies immediately south of the Côte d'Or? Is it A, the Côte Chalonnaise? Is it B, the Côte de Nuit? Is it C, Chablis? Or is it D, Beaujolais? Now I've said immediately south there, and I mean that by, by next door neighbours. It's, it's right next door to the Côte d'Or, so which one is it? Well, Chablis and the Côte de Nuit are both north of the Côte d'Or, so it wouldn't be either of those. Beaujolais is south, but it's a much further south, so there's only one answer left, and that is A, the Coach Chalonnais. All right, then moving on to question number four, and an odd one out one for you. Which is the odd one out? Is it A, Morgon? Is it B, Rouilly? Is it C, Fleury? Or is it D, Brouilly? So, so which one is the odd one out? Well, three of these belong in Beaujolais, which is why three of these things belong together. Uh, but one of them does not because it's from the Loire Valley. That is answer B and that is Rouilly. So if you got that one right, well done. Question five, I'm gonna be pitting your wine tasting knowledge to the test here. Lychees, roses and sweet baking spices might be used as a descriptor of what? Is it A, an Alsace Gewürztraminer? Is it B, a youthful Beaujolais? Is it C, an aged Sancerre? Or is it D, a Southern Rhone GSM? By that, of course, I mean Grenache Syrah Mourvedre. So which one could it possibly be? Um, I find through wine tastings that I've done that th this type of wine actually usually splits the room quite nicely in terms of enjoyed, didn't enjoy. I can find it quite a divisive uh, wine and certainly a divisive grape. Um, I really enjoy the light cheese roses. I often get a Turkish delight type of aroma from these wines as well. They are, of course, Gewürztraminers, and the answer is A, the Alsace Gewürztraminer. Now, going back to the subject of geography, uh, and one style of question that I particularly enjoy, getting you to work really hard and trying to put regions and sub-regions in geographical order from north to south. So, put the following in order, north to south. We've got Cornas, Condru, Cote Roti and Saint Joseph. Is it A, one, two, three, four? Is it B, three, two, four, one? Is it C, three, two, one, four? Or is it D, four, two, one, three? I vividly remember WSCT level three. I got a question about Burgundy 
putting villages in geographical order from north to south. It's why I like this this style of question. I think it's a really good one for taxing your brain. Gets you to think uh, a, a lot about the regions and where they are. Uh, I've left this card on the screen so that you can have a, a good long look at this, take a proper guess. But, you know, we've got Kokoti in the immediate north of the Northern Rhone. We've got Kornas in the south of the Northern Rhone. And then between those two, we've got Kondru following Kokoti and then San Joseph following Kondru before Kornas. So the correct answer is B. It's 3, 2, 4, 1. Do like those style of questions. Let's move on to question number eight then. Uh, where would you find Minervois and Corbière? Would you find them in A, the Southern Rhone, B, Jura, C, Bordeaux, or D, Languedoc? Quite a nice question, I think, for all the students of wine out there. I think this is one of the easier ones today. Um, Minervois uh, and Corbière both feature in the Languedoc, which is answer D. Moving along to question number nine, I've got a sparkling wine question for you now. Cremant d'Alsace is made in which method? Is it A, the traditional method, B, the tank method, C, the Asti method, or D, the carbonated method? Asti, with it being Italian, can probably be discounted immediately, uh, given this is a French quiz, but there you go. Cremants, of course, incredibly popular uh, and one of the driving reasons for that is they actually represent really excellent value for money when you consider they go through the same production methods as of those in Champagne. That of course is the traditional method and that of course makes this one answer A. And then finally we're going to talk about three areas and what they have in common. So what do Margot, Poliak and Santa Steph have in common? A. They are white wine producers only. B. They are all Beaujolais crews. C, they are all on Bordeaux's left bank, or D, they are all champagne houses. Possibly ending with an easy one here, but you know, get everyone finishing on a high, it leaves everyone in a good mood, that's what I think. Uh, the, an the answer of course is that these are all found on the left bank of Bordeaux, where they are producing some incredibly tasty wines. Incredibly expensive wines, but tasty wines nonetheless. So there we are, there's 10 questions to get you started on the wines of France. How did you do? Let me know your scores in the comments section below. And whilst you're letting me know your score in the comments section below, tell me the last bottle that you drank. I'm going to take a look through those and pick one out at random and you are going to win a copy of the Big Wine Quiz Book. I do like to hear what everyone is drinking, particularly as it gives me some ideas for what I should go out and buy next. So yeah, drop me your last bottle drunk in the comments below along with your score. I'll pick out one and I'll send a copy of the book to you. Thanks very much for watching today. If you haven't checked out some of the other quizzes on this channel, please do so. There are, of course, lots available. But for now, I'm the Grape Explorer. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.